you will drone technology is advancing at a rapid pace. The scientists work towards developing state-of-the-art autonomous drone technology. Australian scientists at the CSIRO's Data 61 Centre in the, are in the midst of testing autonomous beyond line of sight drones, which can be used to explore inaccessible terrain, such as closed off parts of a mine. I'm pleased to say that Stefan Herabra, principal research scientist at Data 61, joins us now live from Queensland. Stefan, appreciate your time this evening. Look, just to start with, we're talking about Hovermap. Just give us a, a rundown. What is Hovermap? What does it do? Hi, Peter. Yeah, so Hovermap is um, some drone autonomy technology we've developed at Data 61, and this allows drones to fly in challenging environments where there is no GPS and uh, perform autonomous missions. So you don't need a pilot controlling the drone all the time. You can give it a high-level directive and it will go off and, and complete a mission without needing the sort of person in the loop all the time. And, and how dis different are the dr is it to you know, the drones that we see people flying around parks or you know, taking rather lovely picturesque sh shots of the Sydney Harbour Bridge? Yeah, so the, the key difference is the onboard sensing and intelligence, which happens on, si on, on board the drone. Um, we use uh, a special sensor called a, a LiDAR, or, which is based on laser, to map and scan an area around a drone. And that basically acts as the eyes for a drone. Um, and this works even in the dark, so we can use it in, in dark environments, such as underground. Mm -hmm. And we process that data on board so that the drone can be aware of its surroundings and not fly into things, basically. And also, <laughs> it replaces the need for GPS so that the drones can still navigate um, where there is no GPS. And again, underground mines is a, is a good example of where that can be put to use. So, so how is it navigating without its own GPS by what just being spatially aware of what's around it? Um, well, I've, I've brought one of our payloads ah, into the studio so I can actually show you what it looks like. So this is the payload. So this is usually attached to the underside of a drone. Mm -hmm. And it comprises an onboard computer, which is housed here, and then a laser scanning device, which rotates underneath. Ah. So if I switch this on for a minute, you'll see what it does. So this, this device um, has 16 laser beams internally, and they are spinning around inside, uh, like a lighthouse, sending out mm -hmm. 300,000 pulses per second. And this is taking range measurements around the drone. And this range information is used to map out the environment. And um, using uh, fairly complex, complex algorithms, we can use the same laser information to figure out how the drone is moving. So I suppose simplistically uh, speaking, it's identifying the same uh, 3D features in the environment again and again. And as the drone moves, it sees these features again and again and compares how they've changed in its field of view. And from that, it can work out how it's moved relative to these, uh, these features in the environment. Kind of like doing triangulation of a satellite mm. constellation, but in this case, the satellites are individual 3D features in the environment. I imagine it's telling you at the moment that you're in a very small studio in, in Brisbane, but uh, in terms of what it's been up to at the moment, I mean, how many test flights, has, ha, test missions has it been on, and, and what are some of the sort of uh, applications that you expect it to potentially be used for in the future? Oh, we've done hundreds of, of test flights and uh, test missions, both above ground and more recently underground. And because of the unique capabilities this provides to the drone, um, the collision avoidance and GPS denied flight capability, the, the most logical use case is underground mining. Um, mm. There are many uh, use cases where you just can't send people into parts of, of, of a mine, but you still need to obtain information mm. from, from that part of the mine, whether it's 3D or sensing gas or carrying a thermal camera to, to look for survivors after a, an incident. Um, so that's where we're focusing our efforts at the moment, is in um, doing trials underground. And we've, we've done three trials at uh, different uh, underground mines in Queensland and, and New South Wales. And just finally, where, where to from here? I mean, obviously a desire to push towards commercialization, I imagine. I mean, has there been sort of market interest? What, what happens next? Yeah, so we're in the process of commercializing this technology. Um, and along the, the path to commercialization, we're running an early adopter program. So we have eight customers who are trialing the technology, um, both in Australia, um, Japan, China, and Canada. And we're learning an immense amount from these early adopters as they put Hovermap uh, to use for different uh, applications. We're learning from them you know, what, the, what the value is from collecting this kind of data and the value of 
being able to send a drone into areas where you otherwise wouldn't be able to, to send it. Um, based on their feedback, we're uh, fine-tuning um, the commercialization uh, process in terms of the business model, and we're exploring ways of, of commercializing this through a new uh, spin-out company from Data61, or through licensing the technology to, to somebody else who can go ahead and, and commercialize this. All right, very exciting. We've got to leave it there, Stefan, but appreciate your time this evening. Thank you.